Natasha from Honestly Healthy and I am going to show you how to make the perfect barbecue meal that is healthy. So for those five days a year in England where we get the barbecue out the shed, this is the recipe for you. Today we're going to be making burgers, sesame burgers, and they're absolutely delicious. The first thing we're going to do is we need to do it inside. So we're going to get our aubergine and slice it into very small cubes. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to slice our red onion. Now you can either slice it yourself with a knife or you can get a mandolin which just makes things much quicker and much simpler. So we're going to add um, some sunflower oil. So as the pan is starting to get nice and hot, we are just going to add uh, a little splash of water. So I've got some ground coriander here which we can just add a little bit of. So as that starts to absorb again, we're going to add the aubergine and we want to coat that in all those really delicious juices. So now I'm going to add a little bit of water so you can see all the water has been absorbed. Now this is something I call stir steaming and if you want to learn a bit more about this technique, I've got a video called How to Stir Steam uh, on the YouTube channel so you can check that out. And also if you want to learn how to chop an onion like a pro, we also have a video for that as well. So now I'm going to add in the tomatoes and this is going to make a wonderful, wonderful flavour. We're now going to turn it off the heat and we're going to add it to our food processor with our chickpeas. So now we're going to add some garlic. So I'm just going to grate some raw into here. Then some carrot as well. So now I'm going to put uh, the food processor on and we're going to turn it into sort of a chunky paste. So the next thing we're going to do is literally just pour it into a large bowl. We're now going to add our oats and herbs. You can use any sort of fresh herbs you like and just thinly slice them. So remember, if the texture feels a little bit too wet for you, just let it sit for a while because the oats will absorb all of that moisture. So I'm just going to add a little bit of lemon zest. So all you need to do is just season it a little bit uh, with a little bit of salt and some pepper. So literally, we want to make sort of patties the size of your palm sort of make it into a ball and then sort of flatten it slightly and then make it nice and round around the edges. And then what you're going to do is dip it into the sesame seeds and that is your first burger. So if you're allergic to sesame seeds, you can also roll them in polenta and it will help to make them really crispy on the outside and help to sear them as well. I'm going to show you how to sear them off now. So if you're not going to put them on the barbecue, this is what you're going to do. But if you're going to go to a friend's house and take them with you, always sear them before you travel because otherwise they will just fall apart. You can use sunflower oil or coconut oil and then we'll put the first couple on. And we're just going to leave them there so they go golden brown. So if it is a beautiful sunny day and you've got a barbecue in the garden, then now is the time to put them on the barbecue. While they're finishing on the barbecue, I am going to get my bun ready. So I have basically made these delicious gluten-free buns. Um, the recipe is on the website and it's made with gluten-free flour and teff flour. And I've got some delicious tahini dressing here. Again, recipes on the website. So this is going to be sort of like our healthy mayo. Some beautiful lettuce leaves here. And some tomato. Okay, now all it needs is the burger. And you have the perfect healthy barbecue burger for the summer. Mm -hmm.